today we're on our way to a place affectionately known as the middle of nowhere. There's a place called Middlegate Station about halfway between Fallon and Austin, Nevada. And even though this place is pretty far away from anything, it's actually a pretty popular place to stop. Middlegate Station is right alongside Highway 50. And according to a 1986 article in Life Magazine, Highway 50 running through Nevada is the loneliest road in America. The magazine article that dubbed Highway 50 the loneliest road in America said that there were basically no points of interest along the way, but that's not true. We found one and we weren't even looking for it. We just stopped along the way to see the Petroglyph Trail. It's a hiking trail where there's old Native American drawings on the rocks. It's pretty cool. When you drive in, there's a small parking lot, bathroom facilities, and some information about this site. And then there's the Petroglyph Trail, which is only about a quarter mile, so it's a pretty easy walk. Some of the rocks have these pock marks on them. Others have things like circles and squiggly lines. There's a squiggly line there and a circle there. But some of the drawings look like they might represent humans, animals, or even plants. Looks like a plant. At several points along the way, there are plaques with more information about this place. And it's remarkable just how many petroglyphs there are here. Oh, Spirals right. Spirals out. There's something on that. There, they're all over the place. Yeah, it's a lot more than I expected. There also happens to be a Navy base very close by. That was a really cool pit stop, but we still are on a mission to get out to the middle of nowhere, so we need to hurry up and get nowhere. That doesn't make sense. Once we got back on the road, we eventually came across another point of interest, the Sand Mountain Recreation Area. There's an area at the base of the mountain where enough sand collects to make some large sand dunes. People will come up here and camp for a couple of days and then just spend the day in their off-road vehicles going up and down the sand dunes. If you're traveling east on Highway 50 and you make it to Sand Mountain, you're not far from the middle of nowhere. Well, we made it after a lot of driving and uh, alternating landscapes between mountains and deserts and back and forth. We made it where exactly? Well, apparently we're right smack in the middle of nowhere. Middlegate Station is a place with a lot of history. This building was constructed in 1859 and it doesn't look much different today than the way it did then. Outside there are relics from the past, things like old cars, wagons, even an old phone booth. A phone booth? I haven't seen a phone booth in a long time. But there's no phone anymore. This little place was actually an active stop on the Pony Express Trail, where horses and riders could stop and get some rest and a little something to eat and drink. And today, we intend to do the very same thing. One of the first things you notice when you walk in is the decor. They have some antiques and historical items. They also have some things on display that are obviously intended to be a joke. It wasn't very busy, so we were seated almost immediately, and we had a look at the menu. One of the things they're somewhat famous for here is the Middlegate Monster. It's just a large burger, and if you finish the whole thing, I think you get a t-shirt. I opted to have just a regular human-sized burger. All right, I got, got me a bacon cheeseburger and some fries. Don got some fish and chips. Are you ready to do this? <laughs> yeah. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'll try one fry without the ketchup to see if it's good. It's really good. That's good. Crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. Yeah. Better. I gotta make a little room for the ketchup though. Okay, first bite. Mm. Mm. That's good. <laughs> 
let's see how this is. Bacon cheeseburger, pepper jack cheese. Mmm. Bun is toasted, that's good. Mmm. Very flavorful, it's really good. I don't know if they marinate the burger in something. It, it has a little bit of a different flavor, but it's good. I like how this is crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. And it's it's very hot, but it's not scalding hot. It's at the point where it's just perfect. So we're sitting on one side. There's another side over there. We're the only ones on this side, but there are some people on the other side. I asked the lady if... Um, this place is busy if they get a lot of business and she said yeah it's really slow right now but the warmer it gets the more people come out she says that in the summertime there are people outside waiting to get in and they go outside and take people's orders so the food's ready when they do get in so i guess it does get crazy busy here i like this place it's it's fun and there's a lot to look at people are nice yeah, I think um, we'll probably be back here again. It's a little out of the way for us to get here in the first place, but if we're on our way on 50 East to go somewhere else anyway, this, this would be a place I would stop to get lunch before we get back on the road. Middlegate Station really hasn't changed much since it was built in 1859. But even though being here is like stepping back in time, they do have some modern amenities. For example, you can get gasoline or diesel fuel here. We've got these really old school gas pumps and they still work. They got the uh, old school gas pumps, but modern day prices. If you're driving an electric vehicle, they even have an EV charging station powered by solar panels. And if you wanted to stay the night here instead of driving an hour to get to the next town, you can do that. They do have a small motel. One thing I forgot to mention earlier is that I don't have any cell service or internet access out here, so be aware of that before you head out this way. Um, the good news is it's not easy to get lost because Highway 50 is right there, and that way is west and that way is east, so it's not too hard to find your way. So what do you think of this place? I think it's fun. There's a lot of fun stuff on the walls, a lot of interesting different things you don't see in other places and uh, you know the people were nice the food was very good I enjoyed the food a lot of the stuff out here uh, is like some people might look at it and say they have trash lying around but other people see these historical relics and it's pretty cool so if you're into history and you see it as historical relics and not trash this place is pretty cool it's a long way for us to come out here just to have a burger and some fish and chips. But if we are passing through this way again, if we're on our way east, then uh, we'll, we'll stop by again. But we've been here for a while. We're done with our meal. We're done looking around and now it's time to go home. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.